Hey guys, yesterday somebody made a comment, I think it was P Vampire. Uh, I might be saying your name wrong, I might be completely wrong on the person. I'm bad with using names and remembering stuff like that. But he made the comment that he was surprised that I didn't make a comment on Proposition 8. Um, the appeal on Pro Proposition 8 being shot down by the Supreme Court of California. I was going to, I forgot about it, but what I was going to say was, don't worry, it's not the end of the world, there's still another appeal, still another court case. Because that's the way it goes. The legal systems basically appeal, 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 until you can't appeal no more. Or until they turn you down. Um, so there's going to be a big federal Supreme Court case. Beauty about that is if the federal Supreme Court of the United States declares that it's unconstitutional for there to be a ban on gay marriage, gay marriage will be mandated across every single state in the United States. Which is a beautiful thing. Why? That's what happened in Canada. Gay marriage in Canada wasn't a popular uh, belief in most provinces. Um, in all the provinces, at least. I'm not 100% on my statistics. Gay marriage would have passed in Quebec. Definitely. Quebec is a very liberal state. Um, province. Ontario. British Columbia probably a couple out east and maybe one in the prairies I'm not 100% sure in the statistics but British Columbia, Ontario, Quebec most likely would have passed gay marriage up to a popular vote the rest toss-ups except for Alberta, Alberta definitely would not have passed gay marriage it's basically the Texas the equivalent of Texas in Canada um, it's far from being Texas, but it's our equivalent. So, I got a message a long time ago. We're going to take a little detour and I'll get to my point. I got a message a long time ago from someone who attacked uh, my political leanings to the left. And he's a gay Republican. I found that very, very ironic. I didn't get in a heated debate with this guy because, well, he's a stubborn Republican. And I really don't like arguing with right-wingers, because, well, there shouldn't be a right-wing anymore. <laughs> and he made, the, he made the point that he feels that his country just isn't ready to allow gay marriage yet. In due time, they will be, but his country is just, it's not ready to give us equality in the United States. I say us, but I'm not from the States, so just bear with me. And I found that really, really funny. Because take it in a, a different context, a different situation. The civil rights movement in the 50s and 60s. Do you think if they went to Martin Luther King and they said, Mr. King, we're probably going to give you equal rights eventually. We just don't feel that we're ready for it now. Do you think they would have accepted that? Do you think Mr. King would have accepted that? No. No. And why should we? Why should you care that 60% of your state doesn't agree with gay marriage? It's your right. It's your constitutional right. Why should it matter that your neighbor across the street doesn't think very highly of your new husband? It shouldn't matter. It's your constitutional right. It's your right. This is about equality, not what the general public feels. If the general public in America was racist or sexist, should that have any effect on the Constitution and rights and equality? No, it shouldn't. That's what this is about. Constitutional rights and equality have nothing to do with public approval. Absolutely nothing. Which is why everybody needs to fight right now for their rights. Don't put it off. Don't say, we're just not ready for it yet. Fuck that. You were ready for it as soon as the Founding Fathers signed the Constitution.
and now it's all down to this court case. I feel very, very strongly that the federal Supreme Court will pass it. If they don't, it'll be catastrophic. Uh, it'll be a big shock. I highly, highly doubt that that uh, that it won't get it won't get passed. It's like I believe probably it will be shot down. Let me let me get that clear. I think I'm saying the wrong thing. I think Pop 8 will be shot down and gay marriage will be allowed. Um, if that doesn't happen, it's going to be, you know, it's it's going to be a big hurt. Uh, but I'll leave the door open for a referendum because they'll be shooting it down, not on the basis of the Constitution, but on the basis of public approval. Uh, so what the side of uh, gay marriage is going to be presenting is that this shouldn't have, it's going to be presenting my argument, basically. This shouldn't have anything to do with public approval. This should be having to do with the Constitution and rights and equality. That's what's going to be being presented, and they're going to be saying, oh, you know, gay people are going to hell, and most of the public thinks so. <laughs> That's what you're in for. Yeah, South Park's on. I gotta go. I'll see you guys later.